This is going to be a fun experimental video where we use artificial intelligence to figure out how we can become the best possible applicant for getting a cybersecurity job in 2024. Basically what I did is I went to Indeed, filtered by remote cybersecurity and entry-level positions. I gathered 100 different job descriptions with which took forever. I dumped those into a text file, gave that to ChatGPT, and I said, based on this file, let us know the top 10 technologies to know top 10 skills to have, top 10 certifications to have, top education to have, top frameworks and regulatory stuff to know, and then anything else you could tell me that will make me like a good candidate. So if you're interested in working in cyber, definitely keep watching. This is going to be kind of more of a fun video and it will, at least it will give you a, a good, like tangible idea of what people kind of expect you to have coming into the field. And as a reminder, I have a whole bunch of free practice questions for different certification exams on my company website. We have like over 1500 practice questions for Security Plus. We have a bunch for CISSP, over a thousand, some for Network Plus, and there might be other ones up by the time you watch this, like A Plus and ITIL, but definitely check those out. I also have a really high quality cybersecurity course. It puts a heavy emphasis on doing things hands-on, like a practical component that deals with live attack traffic on the internet. There's also a section dedicated to job hunting as well as an internship component. A lot of people have found success with it already, so definitely check that out. I'll put a link for that in the description. Okay, so jumping right into things, I'm going to run the actual prompt and stuff in chat GPT. So if you want to follow along with this, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can actually get like the hundred job description text file, um, as well as a prompt for chat GPT. So you can replicate it on your own and kind of, you know, see if you get different results or something. So I want this to be like a, as, as authentic as possible. So, okay, here we go. So basically what we're looking at here, uh, this is the prompt. I kind of read this at the intro. Uh, you can read it again. This is what we're going to ask chat GPT. And then this thing right here, uh, I'll put a link to this in the description. These are just the hundred different job descriptions that took forever for me to make. Um, I just pasted them uh, from Indeed directly into this text file. And they're really like sloppily thrown in here, but ChatGPT does a, a pretty good job at um, understanding like what, what it is. And I kind of numbered these like really sloppily. So this is like number 100, this is the last one. So. Again, you can you can do this yourself and replicate it if you want. So all we gotta do is take this, drag it in here, so ChatGPT has something to reference, and then we simply uh, will run this and see what it comes up with. And then the thing that this, I guess, that ChatGPT produces for us are the advice. I guess um, I'll make this available to everybody too, in case in case you want it for some reason, but. So what this came up with is, is really, really interesting, to be honest. And I, I think I agree with most of this for the most part. And I'm just going to go through and kind of talk about them a bit and talk about like where, I don't know, just give my thoughts on things and where I think is a good place to learn some of this stuff. Um, so basically, I'm not going to go through like every possible thing, but um, Sim, I can I can kind of agree with this because it's, it's in a lot of places, like it's, it's in a lot of job descriptions anyway. Um, my cyber my cybersecurity course we we implement a sim and we work with like quite a bit and detect a lot of actual like uh, malicious attacks from the internet so definitely you can check that out if you want to um firewall like of course this is classic there's like a, a really large range of firewall and like what firewall means right it could be like application layer seven firewall down to like you know uh, like a layer four firewall that just filters by like IP address and ports and stuff. EDR um, is really big these days, especially with like a lot of, I don't know if I can say like decentralization, but there's like a lot of devices and like a lot of BYOD. Um, cloud security solutions, especially, you know, I can agree with this. Um, I'm not going to read through like all of this stuff because it's like a lot, but top 10 skills to have um, incident response, risk management. I can, I can hundred percent like agree with these in my course. We do incident response with like real attack traffic. We work like four big incidents in the course. So you can definitely like check those out. Risk management, risk assessment and risk management. I cover this from like a theoretical standpoint. Um, we cover like NIST 837, like the risk management framework. Um, in the most interesting way that I possibly can, because it's kind of a boring topic in general. Network security, of course, is very broad. 
Um, I can agree with I can agree with most of the stuff. Um, obviously, it's it's showing up in a lot of job descriptions, right? Um, top ten certifications to have. I, I highly recommend watching this video I released on certifications. I kind of organized like top ten certifications based on the frequency that I found in Indeed, as well as the actual like cost or not cost, but like the the salary for the job that they're associated with. I can pretty much agree with these for sure. Like CSSP, I, I do recommend like. Um, there's some implications to like getting CSSP, so watch this video. I also have like over a thousand for free practice questions for CSSP. Check those out. But if you get CSSP, you you will get requests for interviews. Like when I when I got that, I started getting like so many like recruiters trying to have interviews with me. Um, it's not easy to get because the topics are it's like really broad and it's an expensive exam. But if you're serious about like doing corporate cybersecurity or even in defense, highly recommend getting CSSP. It by far has the most hits on job descriptions as well. I don't necessarily get recommend getting CEH unless you have to. I have it because I, I had to get it for school. SISM, yeah, it's good. I don't have that, but this appears a lot. And for sure, CompTIA Security Plus, um, you know, it's, it has a name value, right? Like everyone knows what it is. If you want to get CompTIA Security Plus for cheap, you know, get Google Cybersecurity Program or get do the Google Cybersecurity Program first because it will, not only will it prime you for Security Plus, plus you get like a 30% discount voucher when you complete Google Cybersecurity Program. So pretty much agree with this for the most part. CISA, I even thought about getting this. This is a great cert. It's just freaking expensive. I studied for this at some point. Um, it's a good cert, but it's it's hard, right? And it's like a red team specific. Um, these are all cool. I, I pretty much agree with this list. Um, top education to have, bachelor's degree. Um, I do recommend, or I do agree with what it's saying. Of course, you don't need a degree to work in cybersecurity, as I say all the time on my channel. But if you want to be like as employable as possible to a broad range of employers, I do recommend getting one. If you do want to get a degree, I do recommend getting the cybersecurity degree from WGU. Um, watch this video for that. Because the cybersecurity degree from WGU is, has like the... NSA's Center of Academic Excellence certification. So it's like kind of blessed and approved by the NSA. There's some implications or like benefits to that, I should say. Um, check out this video. You can you can get that degree for under $10,000 if you're reasonably quick and smart about it, which I explained in the video. So yeah, I, I, I agree with this. You, d you don't need a master's degree. I have one, but you certainly don't need one unless you just want like, you know, an extra feather in your cap or something. Top frameworks and regulatory knowledge to know. I would have expected to see NIST 853 in here, but maybe it didn't have enough hits or something. But I, I do agree with this. Everybody knows what NIST CSF is in our industry. Um, I cover this pretty kind of in a decent amount of depth in my course. I think this, uh, I I don't cover this in the course. And I, I think this might be, um, I don't wanna actually, no, I don't wanna like talk too much about that, but I know this is a big one, but I didn't really learn this in depth. Um, but I kind of understand what it is at a high level. GDPR, you definitely, it's good to know this. I cover this in my course. PCI DSS, I agree, good to know this. I cover this in my course. HIPAA, same thing. It's like a PCI DSS for healthcare and electronic protected health information. I cover this in my course in pretty decent depth. SOC 2, I think you should understand what this is. I don't cover this in my course. COBIT as well, I don't cover this in my course, but CISSP and like other certifications tend to talk about this a bit. Other insights, there's a significant emphasis on cloud security and automation. 10,000% agree with this. I cover cloud security, like actually my whole course is delivered in Azure. It's delivered in the cloud. And the last like, I don't know, X number of jobs I've had, they've been cloud centric. So highly recommend, you know, learning or getting experience on how to deal with like different cloud platforms. And automation, of course, absolutely 100%. Hybrid skills that combine, combine cybersecurity knowledge with programming and scripting abilities are increasingly important. 10,000% agree with this. Um, my last position, my last like corporate position, I was like 100% uh, scripting and automation and cybersecurity in the cloud. Like that's like literally like all I did. Um, so highly recommended. If you want a really good like certification that will like put these together. Highly recommend Google Cybersecurity Program. I'll put a link to that in the description, but they have like a really 
a big section on scripting, right? Like it's like a complete Python course, essentially inside of that course, kind of mixed in with cybersecurity, like how to use automation and scripting as it relates to cybersecurity and remote work capabilities are highlighted indicating a trend toward flexible working arrangements are very cool. So basically, um, if you want to work remote, you should uh, be really strong at like, rem like the technologies and skills that allow you to do that, which would be like, programming, scripting, and uh, stuff in the cloud, to be honest. And this is kind of interesting. You can read through this a bit if you want. Um, I was particularly interested by this in the increased focus on vendor risk management and third-party security, um, which is it's true because if you work in a large organization, a lot of the time you'll be like relying on third parties and like vendors to provide SaaS, like software as a service stuff for your organization or platforms that you use. But if those platforms are like have bad security hygiene, it's going to expose your organization as well. So that I'm surprised that that comes out in here. I, I would be interested in like what are actually in the job descriptions to make chat GPT say this, but um, very, very interesting. But in the end, there's a lot of stuff to know and different employers kind of care about different stuffs. Like maybe someone will care more about certifications. Somebody else will care more about experience, like whatever that means to them, maybe education. So as you, as somebody like trying to break into cybersecurity, it's, it's good to acknowledge all of those things and like the exercise we did today to kind of see what people are actually like putting on job descriptions like helps a lot but it's your job to make sure that you're you are uh, as employable as you can to like a broad range of employers so i recommend checking out this video it's employability framework it's i, I talk about how to approach that right like what you need to do and like what you need to care about in terms of like you know, getting an interview and then actually passing an interview because those are basically only two things that matter. So yeah, I hope that helps. And if you're worried about getting experience, again, definitely check out my cybersecurity course. I have an internship component to, to it. So the whole course is like hands-on anyway, and then the internship component will also help with the experience a bit. So definitely um, check out this video for like a full explanation on that. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.